follow the trail and you can see a lot of birds from top if you see this is the tram station from where the tram starts is a swan lake Spilling shy. Hello, Mr. Ostrich. How are you doing? Oh, see, another friend of ours is eating food over there. Hello, hi. He's looking at us. Oh, my friend is looking at us. Bye bye. See you some other day. Hello. Hello Mr. Crane, how are you doing? The other one is going. Hello Mr. Crane, how are you doing?
curl bumps right past you, you take a whiff of the air, and you will realize that you smell rather sweet. That's because big curls are known to release a sweet smell that smells like pandan or even buttered popcorn when they feel comfortable. But folks, bear in mind, when they feel threatened or scared, they will release a pungent smell that smells very much like a rotten egg. Now let me introduce you to this visual right here. He goes by the name of Shani, very young, only two years of age this year, right? Now they are known to be largely a boreal creatures, spending most of their time in the highest levels of the rainforest with the help of their sharp claws. Now due to their sharp stubby legs and their very cute bear-like walk, they also have another name, the Asian Bear Cats. As you can see, one very unique adaptation about a bitch troll will be their long, beautiful tail. That tail is in fact prehensile, allowing them to withstand their entire body weight when they hang down from the trees. Now, birds' eggs happen to be their favorite food, but they also feed a large variety of fruits, and like I said, sometimes even smaller animals, alright? Once again, I still see a lot of flashes. Please kindly switch off the flashes. With that said, round of applause for Shani, everyone! A sense of smell to the test, okay? But before that, I need the help of a young, brave volunteer for this part of this show. Any young, brave volunteers, raise up both hands, wave it around so I can see it from up here, alright? Wave, wave, wave. Adults, I know you are young. I believe you, no doubt. But I need a child for this one, okay? I need children. Alright, so your hands up first. You want to join me? Alright, come on up. Everyone, round of applause for my volunteer! Hello. I love your energy. What's your name? Where are you from? Adi. Adi, where are you from? Australia. Everyone, Adi, all the way from Australia! Okay, Adi, I need your help, alright? Right here with me in my pocket. Just a minute. Okay. I've got a grape. Take the grape. First thing, smell the grape. Yes. Smell? Alright, tell everyone, is there a smell or no smell at all? Not much of a smell. Not much of a smell? Still slightly or not at all? A very slight smell. Very slight smell. Okay, let's try this one. Alright, pass me the other grape. Alright, smell or no smell? Same, I think. Same? Mm -hmm. Still slight smell? Mm -hmm. Okay, pass me this grape. We try this one, alright? Again, Adi, smell. Or oh, no smell at all. Smell or no smell? Say no smell, say no smell. No smell, very clever boy. That's because good grapes are in fact odorless, okay? Alright, now enough smelling the grape. Just hide the grape in one of your hands behind your back like this. Alright, very clever. Okay, face the front, just don't bring your hands in front. Keep it behind, okay? Take your time to decide. Meanwhile, I will tell all of you what's going to happen. Yes, he will hide the grape in one of his hands. But first, early on, all of you met Shani, our very young Bintro, like I said, only two years of age. Let me just introduce you to two more of my friends. Coming up from this side, there we go. Round of applause for Ted and Zuhairi! A lot of you look very confused. Wait, wait, wait. Adi, do you know which one is Ted and which one is Zuhairi? <laughs> You look confused also. It's okay, not your fault. They look quite alike, okay? I don't blame you. You see the cute furry animal up there? The top, the one at the top? That is Ted. Okay? The scary looking, strange human being. The one with the fancy hair. That is Zuhairi, okay? Don't be scared of Ted. I guarantee you Ted's not going to do anything, okay? Just be aware of Zuhairi, okay? Yeah, that man is known to bite. I'm just kidding, okay? Very brave boy. Let's just go towards the back and stand right here, alright? Follow me? Nice, okay. Face the front, both hands behind first. Make sure you close both hands really tightly, alright? Arms out like this. Nicely done. Palms, palms outward. Okay, very nice. Now, Adi, if Ted thinks that the grip is in your hand, he will tap your hand, okay? What must you do if he taps your hand? Open it, very clever. One more question for you, okay? Do you know what's going to happen if you don't? Open your hand. Okay, we're just kidding. I think nothing is going to happen, alright? Are you okay? You're in safe hands, okay? Nothing's going to happen. I'm kidding, alright? I'm going to cover his hands to make it slightly harder for Ted. Adi, are you ready? Yes? Okay. 
Chat whenever you're ready. There he comes. Sniff, sniff here. Sniff, sniff there. Thinking, thinking. Where is the green? Ten. Very sure. Let's see, okay? One, two, three, open and. Ted has found the green! Round of applause for Ted! Nicely done! Is it good, Pete? Just wipe your hand here. You're welcome. Did he do a good job? Yes? Yes, of course. Thank you. I've got something for you. Don't go this yet. All right, let's see. A nice little kiss for you. Where is it? There we go. Ready? Agree. Nice right. Here. Bye bye. Welcome. I'm kidding, Ali, come back here. I've got something else for you, okay? You deserve something. A little bit more. This is a nice safari badge. Nice? Yes? I'll take the great one for you. Round of applause for Ali, everyone! Thank you for your help. Like I mentioned, ventrums have a keen sense of smell, but many other animals depend on their acute hearing power. For example, the owl. There he comes, everyone. That is Lionel, our beautiful Malay fish owl, also known as the Buffy fish owl, located in many parts of Southeast Asia, including Malaysia and even mainland Singapore. However, though, Lionel is considered a medium-sized owl to see something slightly larger in size. Cast your eyes to the other side of the amphitheater. Coming right down, folks, that is Rainbow, our great horned owl, also known as the tiger of the sky. In fact, known to be one of the largest species of owls in the world, located in many parts of Europe and even Asia as well. Like I mentioned, they have acute hearing powers. To help them with that, they have asymmetrical ears. One is set slightly higher than the other, allowing them to triangulate the exact location of their prey without even seeing them in the dark. Not only that, they are also known to have powerful eyesight, but ironically, they do not possess eyeballs. What they have are long elongated tubes set right inside their skulls, which means that they cannot move their eyes around like you and I can, to compensate with that, they have a long and flexible neck, allowing them to turn it at a very wide range, all right? Quick question. How many degrees do you think the owls can turn their necks? 360? 270 from this side. Any guesses? 180? Okay, before I continue, there's a bright flash there and flashes at the back as well. Please kindly switch off your flashes, okay? So three different answers, 180, 360, 270, the correct answer is in fact 270 degrees, that's right. Also, if you did see the owls flapping their wings, you would have realized that there was barely any sound. That's because the owls are known to be the quietest raptors in the world, allowing them to hunt for their prey without even alerting them. Now how about a huge round of applause for the owls, along with their trainers, Jeremy and Anne. Right, for the next segment, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please kindly remain seated, and most importantly, no flash photography. <laughs> a famous scavenger from the African continent. This animal possesses a keen sense of smell, allowing them to detect their prey from miles and miles away. Now this is the spotted hyena, largest of all hyenas in the world. They are known to have powerful jaws, allowing them to crush even the bones of elephants. Now they also possess a powerful digestive system, allowing them to digest the skin, teeth, bones, horns, and even the wounds of the brain. Due to their excessively large hearts, they are able to run extremely long distances in search of their food. Lastly, due to their dog-like features, many people think that the hyenas are part of the canine family. But in fact, they are much more closely related to the cats. Speaking of cats, joining us up on stage very shortly will be the beautiful, slender-built servo, 
The reason why they are called slender grip servos is because of their four poles. You'll see why very shortly. But in fact, they are known to resemble a miniature cheetah, except for their relatively smaller size and, of course, shorter tail. All right, I see her right at the back. Let's just give her some time to make her way to the front. But again, please don't use any flashes, all right? Thank you. There she comes very graciously. Folks, this is Cash, our slender built circle. Like I mentioned, given a name because of their slender built four paws, allowing them to crawl holes deep within the ground in search of their food. Now, they also have a special ability to leap at least 10 to 15 feet off the ground. So, all eyes on Cash because she's going to show us. How high this animal can go. There's a flash all the way to the left. Please try to show the bright light. Thank you. But like I said, they are known for their slender built four paws, but to take off, they use their powerful hind legs. Now we go circling. And beautiful jump! Round of applause for Cash and Zuhari! Nicely done! Now, if you took a good look at Cash, you would have seen very nice black and white markings right behind the back of her ears. Those markings are known as ocelli, and they act as deterrents against their predators. That's because... What? No. Um, firstly, can we have the lights up, please, very quickly? Jeremy? Yeah. Jeremy, I look over here. Okay, um, the rest of you, I need your help very quickly before we continue the show. Just look under your seats, in your bags, around you. My colleague just told me that one of our animals went missing and went into the audience, okay? So I really, really need your help. Just look around you. If you see anything, raise up your hands and we will come to you. Please don't... What? Where? What? Nice shoes. <laughs> Jeremy, please look for the animal, okay? Sorry, false alarm. You can sit properly again. I'm sorry, all right? Please, folks, keep looking. Jeremy, go get that check quickly. All right, um, those of you here, just remain seated, okay? My colleague will just get it checked. What? what? You need help? How many? Two people. Okay, um, Jeremy said he needs help behind. Just two people to help them out right at the back. We need adults, okay? Any adults? Hello. Okay, how about you, man? Yes, come on down. Hello. Anyone else? Yes, man, come on up. All right, just follow Jeremy to exercise. Man, emergency. Thank you. Let's go all the way towards the back, alright? My colleagues are right there. Their family and friends, don't worry, they will come back in one piece, okay? I guarantee you that. I, the rest of you, I'm really sorry, I apologize, but I'm very sure the situation is under control and we would have found the animal already. But just so everyone feels safe, I will just ask them behind, okay? Jeremy, everything alright? I hear sound from the back. Everything okay over there? Those of you there, please just remain seated. I need all of you to stay seated, okay? We've got some people standing, so we all just remain seated. Thank you, all right. Um, everything okay behind? Taking a while. Oh, okay, there we are. There we go. Hi, and with the escape of oh, kids, Turn the snake there, okay? Don't worry, okay? Uh, like I mentioned, those of you who didn't hear me, this is a boa constrictor, also known as a red tailed boa, located in many parts of South America. Something very interesting about boa constrictors is that they are one of the very few snakes that give birth instead of all camera. Ah, oh, right there, right. Go ahead, take pictures as well. If you're gonna post it online, hashtag Night Safari because we'll all check the photos out, okay? Now, people here, I know you want to see the snake as well, don't worry. And let's just move the snake slightly this way. Now everyone can see, right? Alright, go ahead, take pictures. Come closer, please. Come closer. Got it? Come yes? closer. Right, okay, now it's time for Maggie to head back. So volunteers, just let go of the snake. Stay here on stage, okay? Now, round of applause for Maggie and the trainers! <laughs> nice job. Okay, come right in front. Were they really brave? Come on, that was a boa constrictor. Were they really brave? Yes! Oh, um, excuse me. Hello? Okay, everyone, this is Toffee. How about everyone say hi, Toffee? Hi, Toffee! 
Hi Sophie, what's up? Why are you here? No clue. If you're wondering, this is Sophie, our white raccoon. In fact, just another variation of common raccoons that are usually greyish in colour, alright? Uh, you come here, you make a mess, and then you just leave like that. Say bye, tell two Asian is not entirely their fault. Our towns and cities have come very close to their natural environment, so of course these animals tend to come into the human world to find for ways to feed and of course to survive. Now I'm very curious to know what got Toph's attention here. Let me see, okay? Alright, we've got a few items. How about I just put it here so everyone can see? Plastic bottle, tin cans, and paper cups. Interesting. These items come from nature in one way or another. In fact, to save these animals, we should also save their homes. So let me ask you, what should we do with these items that could possibly save the natural environment? Put them back in bin. Very clever. The rest of you, a clue. Reduce, reuse, and... Recycle! Louder. Come on. Reduce, reuse, and... Recycle. Recycle. That's right. Now that's exactly what we're going to do. Let me just grab a recycling bin, okay? From this side. One sec. Recycle assistant. All eyes towards the back as the light hits the water. Right there is still our ancient small clawed otter. Smallest species of otters in the world. Very adorable, but very intelligent as well. You'll see why. Hi, still. There he comes. He's swimming. Don't worry. All right, you all get to see him. Still, come on. There he is. Hi, still. All right, the items are right there. Let's get started. Okay. Okay. Tin can. Good choice. Into me. Enemy in the apartment, very clever. In, in. Still. In it goes. So one down, one more to go, alright? In, it. Still. Same thing. Just very nice. Still. Still. Seriously, still. Hello? You? Still. Okay, I think it's not gonna come up. But I think that's still sort of saying if I can do it. So can you, so let's just leave this to us, alright? I'll ask you, paper cup, where do they go? Do they go here? 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 That's right, plastic bottle, same place. No, how about here? That's right, I'm sure you got the message, reduce, reuse. But at night, we face many more challenges. Now this show will not be possible without the help of our sound and light crew. Up there we have Mr. Fazli. Alright, now we also have the stars of our show. Right here we have Rainbow along with Jeremy and to my dad we have Jane along with Zuhairi. Before you go, my friend is coming down selling plush toys at just $10 each. Special prize here at the MVP Asia, so come down and grab yours while stop last. The rest of you, my name is Ruth. Good night, take care and bye-bye.